Are you thinking about moving to Beaumont, California? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you guys around Beaumont, California, and I'm gonna take you guys through some different neighborhoods, show you different houses, and in different price points so you may know what may fall within your budget. And if you guys stick around until the end, I'm gonna share a market recap of the current real estate market here in Beaumont, California. So let's get after it right now. If this is your first time to this channel and you want to know everything that there is about living, eating, breathing in Beaumont, California, then subscribe below, tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to know about the current real estate market here in Beaumont, California. Hi, my name is Jonathan Hernandez. My team and I get calls and emails every single day from people just like you looking to make their move to Beaumont, California, California you guys. So whether you guys are moving in nine days or 90 days, hey, you guys give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email, and we would love to help you make that smooth move to Beaumont, California. You guys, I am right now in the downtown Beaumont area of their, you know, their little popul populous area, right? So much going on around here, you guys. Beaumont, a little bit about Beaumont. It has a population of a little under 50,000 people you guys not it's not completely big compared to the rest of you know all of california however they are the fastest growing city in riverside county you guys while the rest of the Cal all of california is shrinking in size and losing population beaumont is constantly growing you guys i i know why it's affordability you know there's so much new communities so many ava available houses in this area you guys that you know, that's that's kind of one of the main reasons that they're growing, you guys. Back five, ten years ago, Beaumont was like nothing, you guys. It's, it's a real, still real rural feeling. Sorry, try not to get ran over. But it's a real rural feeling, you guys, in Beaumont, California. It's still fairly small. It does have like a lot of, of those farmlands type of environment, you guys. So there is a lot of empty land here, but they're constantly, constantly growing again. They're building new construction after new construction. They're trying to expand. And so Beaumont is not what a lot of people think it is. In today's world, in 2022, you guys, there's, there's a lot of stuff going on. I mean, you guys, check this out right behind me. You got Tesla charging stations right next to in and out right? You guys got a Walmart right across the street. You guys have Raising Cane's, you guys have Kohl's, Sephora, uh, Home Depot's right here down the street. You got a whole bunch of stuff going on right here in this half mile radius, like three different Starbucks, three different type of grocery stores. You guys, there's so much going on here um, that it's pretty cool and it's pretty amazing. So if you are an outdoorsy person, Beaumont might just be for you. There's a lot to do outdoors. So if you guys like to hike, hang out, go to picnics, great area to be, you guys. Beaumont it has all that for you. And you also get beautiful views of the mountains, you guys. I don't know if you guys can see the mountains right behind me, but you do get beautiful views of the mountain. And yes, you will feel the wind. It will get really windy here in Beaumont, you guys, uh, just because we are at the bottom of the mountain. So that draft comes all the way down here, which is not necessarily a bad thing. You will hear some wind in my video because again, you guys, we get that draft from that mountain coming down now you guys what we're gonna do is i'm gonna show you around beaumont i'm gonna show you guys a house that costs six hundred thousand a house that costs seven hundred thousand and even eight hundred thousand so let's head on to the first house right now all right you guys so here we are we're at the first property of the day so this house right behind me is listed for sale for six hundred thousand dollars it's a four bedroom two baths it has 2,067 square feet, you guys. Was built in 05, so yes, it is a little bit of a newer community here. It's really nice, it's really quiet. I'm right on a cul-de-sac, if you guys can kind of see. Now, this community here, it's, it's really safe, it's really quiet again. You guys, we're north of the I-10 freeway. So not a whole lot going on right here in this specific location. You do have about two golf courses 
within a two mile radius of this location here in this community. Now this community, again, since it is fairly newer, you know, there is a little bit of higher taxes here. It's not too bad. Now the schools, you guys, the schools here, we have the elementary school that's rated an eight out of 10, which is really swell. And you have the middle school that's rated a five out of 10. And now you have the high school that's rated a five out of 10 as well. So the schools are not so bad here. It's a great location. Again, if you guys like that quiet, peaceful type of environment, then this is probably some type of community that you kind of want to be in. Now this cul-de-sac right here, very, very big lots. I mean, when you live on a cul-de-sac on a corner lot or whatever the case may be, you do tend, typically tend to get those large lots. Now that lot right there had over a quarter of an acre. I know you guys saw that, that pod right behind me, that storage pod, and they even had two cars right in front, one in front of it and one behind it. So that just kind of shows like, that the lot itself can fit a lot of things on it. So if you guys, you know, want to move into a cul-de-sac or corner lot, hey, you're probably going to get a bigger lot. And again, this neighborhood in this community here, not too bad. The crime is down. Safety is, you know, is priority here because it is a residential community and you do have a lot of kids. That right there is what $600,000 can get you guys in Beaumont, California. Let's go to the second house. All right, you guys, so here we are. We're at the second home of the day. So check out this massive beast right behind me. This for house right now is currently listed for sale for $700,000. It is a four bedroom, three and a half baths. It has 3,120 square feet, you guys. The lot is again over a quarter of an acre. It's humongous. And this house was built in 2017. So this house is basically brand new. I mean, really it's brand spanking new, you know, a couple years old. It does have solar, again, big backyard, you guys. Now, the thing about this house you guys to die for is the views. I'm gonna kind of turn my camera so you guys can kind of see, but a, me a like beautiful mountain views all over here. And then also in the back of the house, you guys are gonna get amazing mountain views and sunset views, pretty cool. So not on a cul-de-sac it's kind of on the bottom of a hill but it's still very very nice again this community in general is all new it does have an hoa of 150 dollars a month all right but you guys you guys are paying for some cool things you do have parks here and you do have some good cool amenities around this area again everything's brand new guys look at the pavement so black <laughs> you guys the sidewalk looks freshly just laid down I mean, everything's here is brand new and they're constantly building. So literally right up the road, about a three minute drive. You can walk there in about 10 minutes. They're building more homes in this community. So there's more and more homes getting built. Now, like similar to the first home, you do have to drive some ways for you guys to go to your guys' convenience stores, to go to your everyday, you know, life and your needs. Basically, if you want to go to the bank, to the gas station, Whatever the case may be to a good restaurant, you probably can, you're gonna make a drive, you guys. It's gonna take you anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes to make that drive just to go to somewhere that you need to really, really go. All right, but not necessarily a bad thing. If you like the peace and quiet, this right here would probably be for you just because it's really quiet, nice little residential community, bunch of kids. There is parks right here, right up the road. Just like the first one, I didn't mention at the first one, there was a park right next to the house, walking distance, and there's a park here <laughs> right up the road that's walking distance. So I hope you guys now understand what $700,000 can get you in Beaumont, California. Let's go on to the third. All right, you guys, so here we are. We're at the third property of the day. It's such an amazing house. Check out this house right behind me. It's currently listed for sale for $800,000. It is a four bedroom, three baths. It has 3,356 square feet, you guys. Plus, it comes with two additional bonus rooms. So in reality, you guys can have a six bedroom. And now, this house was built in 2018, so it is extremely new just talked to the owner very sweet lady she gave me an inside tour unfortunately i didn't put that on video however it's a beautiful gorgeous house big big lot you guys you guys can build a pool back there this house has a lot of great features it has solar it has a water softener system tankless water heater 
it has a four car garage you guys this house just has all the cool little upgrades beautiful chandeliers all the like little stainless steel double oven you guys name it it has all the upgrades again it's a beautiful house this neighborhood is beautiful in general it's right on a cul-de-sac so in this community there's only two cul-de-sacs and this is one of them so that's really neat you guys so just check it out i mean all the houses are really good the, the crime and the safety here, you guys, crime is low, safety is great. The schools, you guys, the elementary school is rated a 5 out of 10. The middle school is rated a 5 out of 10. And the high school is rated a 7 out of 10. So the schools, you know, they're, they're still really great, you guys. And now we are on the east side of Beaumont, you guys, where before I had you guys on the west side. So on the east side, you guys are closer to the schools and the parks, you know, and stuff like that. And you're closer to the shopping center. Sorry, my paper's falling out of my pocket. And, but you're closer to the, the shopping centers, you guys. And so you're about a five to 10 minute drive from all the shopping centers compared to the first two homes where you're about a 15 to 20 minute drive. You guys are now like fairly closer to everything else. This community does have HOA of $125. What does that $125 get you, you guys? Well, as you guys can see, it helps you maintain the appeal, the aesthetics of your guys' homes. It does have a swimming pool here. They do have a park. They do have a clubhouse. So you guys do get those cool amenities that you know the high HOAs do provide. And so that's really neat. Now, I want you guys to focus and pay attention to the beautiful mountain views back there. That's one of the things that you're gonna get. So you're still gonna get those views like the second home you guys and again such a great community now i hope you guys understand what eight hundred thousand dollars can get you guys in beaumont california i'm crossing the street right now now what we're gonna do you guys is we're gonna go do a market recap i'm gonna go head to the office and i'm gonna share with you the, the current real estate market of beaumont california you guys if you do have questions comment down below you guys i'm more than happy to answer any question you guys you guys have so let's get after it right now all right you guys market recap time i am back in the office i hope you guys enjoyed that tour of that six hundred thousand, that seven hundred thousand, and even that eight hundred thousand dollar home right i want you guys to know this there is still housing available in the 500K range and in the high 400K, okay? Unfortunately, those were not available for me to show today, but look out for my next video because I will put them in there. Now, I'll just reiterate a little bit about Beaumont. Again, you guys, the population is a little under 50,000 people. They are the fastest growing city in Riverside County. You guys, you guys saw the shopping town center over there. They have some cool, neat stuff. You guys, they're not a small town. Again, it does feel a little rural just because that's what Beaumont was, you know, five, 10 years ago. Just a bunch of farmland, a bunch of horse zone properties and stuff like that. Today, not so much. You guys, I want you to know that 77%, I was in 75, but it's really 77% of the people in Beaumont are homeowners. So the remaining 23% are renters. So that's a good owner to renter ratio to be in. Just because you know that the majority of the population in Beaumont are homeowners, so you know they take care of their homes, you know they'll take care of their town, their city, whatever the case may be. Now, bad ratio, you guys, it would be if it's a 50-50 split, or maybe there's more renters than there are homeowners. In this case, it's not the case, and we do have more homeowners, which is great. The public school system, you guys, it is rated a B minus. So the schools in Beaumont are, they're not excellent, but they're still pretty great, you guys. The crime and safety is really low. You guys, the diversity is really high. So it's rated at A minus in diversity. So the overall niche grade of Beaumont, you guys, it's a B. So with it being a B, what does that mean, you guys? It's just a great place to be, a great place to raise your family, and if you guys want to move there now, you guys will reap the benefits definitely long term. Again, they are still growing. I know of three communities right now that are currently building in Beaumont, you guys, to have houses released by the end of the summer and the end of the year, which is a good thing for you guys because, you know, if you wanted a brand new house, you guys can get them and do your little add-ons. Customize it, make it 
to your taste. Make it and design it however you guys want. So that's a bonus of having new construction. You guys would design it to your guys' like, to your guys' need. And that's why I personally love new construction. But again, they're constantly building out there because they have the land to do that. So I will say this, if you guys, I, re I said it once, but if you guys wanted to go to Palm Springs, hey, you guys drive 30 minutes east and you guys will be there. If you guys wanted to go to Riverside, you know, bigger city, you drive 30 minutes west and you'll be there. Or you really wanted to go a big city, you want to go to LA maybe, an hour, 10 minute drive, you're in LA. You guys can go watch the Dodgers play, the Lakers play, go to Universal Studios, go to Santa Monica Pier. You guys go to Hollywood Boulevard, whatever the case may be. A lot of options, you guys. If you guys want to head to Disneyland, you sure can. Within a two mile, two mile, I'm sorry, within a two hour radius of Beaumont, you guys have so much to do. Again, if you guys head up north to Big Bear, you guys, if you're coming from the northern states where it snows, right, and you guys wanted to ski and snowboard, we have those options there. Or maybe you're a bike fanatic and you like to mountain bike. There's a bunch of trails. Or maybe you just like to hike or just get out and, you know, feel the sun. Bunch of hiking trails, bunch of parks if you guys have kids, right? So there's so much activities to do. Hey, they have ponds and lakes. So um, if you guys wanted to fish or do anything like that, those options are there, you guys. Beaumont has them. Again, you guys, Beaumont's a great place to be. They're just constantly growing, constantly evolving. And so I give, you know, Beaumont my highest re recommendation to move to in Riverside County. Again, if you guys have questions about anything, just please comment down below. I appreciate, appreciate you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Living in South California.